how to add Jira issues to Discord channel automatically. So here I'm going to connect Jira software and Discord in such a way that whenever any new issue is created into the Jira software, the same issue will be sent on Discord server so that my team will be updated about every new data being created into the Jira software. So do you also want to sync your Jira software issues with the Discord channel? Then come with me and I will show you everything step by step. Now to automate this process, I am going to connect these two applications with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation software. And since I am an existing user of Pabli Connect, so here you can see I am already logged in. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button. And in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test this automation. Now, once you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have provided i have pasted the name as add jira issues to discord and here i will also add automatically okay automatically okay after that i am going to click on this create button and then you will notice two boxes okay so these are actually trigger and action okay and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this try to understand with an example let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and according to our use case whenever any new issues created into the jira software application then automatically send those issues to your team on discord application okay so that is why i am going to search for discord application here okay so i have selected both the applications here and now i am going to connect those application these two application with the public connect one by one okay so let us first select the trigger even that is configure webhooks all right so here you can notice it has provided me a webhook url and few set of instructions okay so you will have to follow these instructions very carefully firstly you'll have to copy this webhook url then you'll have to go back to your jira software application okay so this is the jira software let me click on this jira software and and then you will have to click on this settings section okay as per the instruction settings jira settings and then system okay so this is my jira application here you can notice the option of settings here we have the system option and from the left hand sidebar you can notice this webhook option here exactly we are going to create a new webhook okay and in that webhook we will paste the same url okay let us provide a random name something like jira connection with this call okay i have provided this particular name the status is going to be enabled let me paste the same webhook url which i have received via pabli connect okay moving further it is asking for the description which is optional which is not mandatory asking for the issue related events okay so i want that whenever any new issue is created okay so that is why i have selected the event now if you will select the events from here this is going to work for the whole project for all the projects okay let's say you want to specify that whenever the issue is created in a specific project only okay so if you want to specify this you will have to add a jql query here okay how you can do that well everything is mentioned into the description okay let me show you if necessary you can specify a jql query okay so basically you will have to copy this example type all right so i have copied it coming back here and let me first paste the same and now here you will have to provide the project name okay so let me open this jira software into a new tab also so that i can show you currently in which particular project we are actually working okay let us click on this dashboard section all right so here we have two project that is the demo service project and the connect app okay so my, me and my team is going to work in this demo service project okay so i have selected the same so firstly i am going to copy the name of this project all right wait for this 
All right, so this is the project. Let me first copy the name of my project and paste exactly here. Okay, where is the dashboard? All right, so I'm going to paste the name and make sure that you also paste the same name into the inverted comma. Okay, so I have applied the same. And in the issue type, you will have to mention the issue type. Okay, so let's say I am into is this project. Okay, and when I will create a new project, it is going to ask me that what is this issue type? Okay, so I have multiple options. Options. let me show you I have this IT help I have this task I have this service request with the approvals okay so how about I go with this service request okay uh, assume that whatever the issues I'm going to add here those are considered as you can basically considered as the service request okay so let me add the same S should be capital here that is service and R should also be capital here okay so I have provided the same and again I will have to add these values within the inverted comma so that this will this cross will go and uh, a tick mark will be added here here you can notice this green tick mark okay so i think i have provided all the important details now i am going to directly click on this create button and this is how the webhook jira connection with the discord has been successfully created okay coming back to my pably connect dashboard and here you can notice that it is still waiting for the webhook response which, which means it is saying that log into the application where you have have added the webhook url and do a destination record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means creation of a new issue into the jira software application so that the details can be captured as a webhook response okay so i am going to do the same click on this plus icon i'm sorry click on this create new button select the project first okay so i would like to create my issue in this project only the issue type is going to be the service request only now it is asking that raise the risk request on the behalf of this particular person asking for the subject line okay so a feature a new app integration request from a customer okay and assume that this customer is requesting for airtable application integration in the pably connect okay kindly add airtable app integration in pably connect okay I am providing this particular name, this particular task. Okay, so let me click on this create button, and you will notice that as soon as I will click on create, as soon as I will create a new issue here, the same details will be received via Pably Connect. Here you can notice the responses already received. Okay, let me show you the details one by one. Okay, so here we have the event type as issue created. Now let me show you the subject line and the description of this issue. Okay, we also have the the date and timing of the issue now we have the a new app integration request from a customer well this was the subject line this issue is actually in progress and let me directly show you the description of this issue also okay so where is the description all right so here we have the description okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between jira application and pably connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to create a new issue in your jira software application the same issue details will be captured via pably connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time and after that what will happen that jira issue will be sent to the team on the discord channel okay so how i can set up the second scenario basically how i can send the messages on discord firstly you will have to select the action even that is send channel messages that is html okay and just like we have connected jira software and pably connect now i am going to connect this discord and pably connect okay and since i am already logged in into the discord here you can notice uh, i am connected directly now it is asking you the webhook url okay so firstly you will have to open this documentation and read the instructions very carefully 
all right so let me first to go back to the discord channel okay i have various channels how about i would like to post all the jira issues in which in this pabli team channel okay so i have selected the same after that you will have to click on this arrow button then click on this server settings okay and here exactly you will find an option of integrations okay directly click on that here you can find the option of webhooks and finally click on this new webhook button and this is how one new webhook will be added here all right where is that webhook i'll have to check okay here you can notice on june 16 this bot has been added okay i'm sorry for that so let me click on this arrow button and firstly i'm going to provide a random name something like connection with jira okay i have provided this particular name okay so i have provided this particular name now simply click on this copy webhook url and then click on save changes this is how a new webhook will be created here and this is how you will get the webhook url which you can paste here directly okay now it is asking that what message you would like to send to your team and what is going to be the bot name the bot icon and text to speech okay so i am going to provide the data only into the important field okay so let us compose a message something like hello team members okay a new issue has been created jira software okay details are as follows now here i will add the issue name colon and here i am going to provide the issue name from the data which we have just received from our jira application and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy the above details and paste it here when i will click on this field you will notice that the same data the above data is visible here in the drop down let me search for the subject okay so here we have the subject that is a new app integration request from our customer now i will map the issue description also okay let me do the same and here also i am going to search for the description of the issue okay let us search for the description all right so here we have the description as kindly add airtable app integration in pabli connect i can also add the date and time of the issue okay so let me add date and time of issue okay colon and again i will search for the date okay so here we have the date as this okay so i think i have provided all the important data i can also map the project name okay so let me write project name and here search for the project name which was something like service okay it was something like demo okay so we have demo service project in case you want to add the issue type that is also possible okay so in this way whatever the information you would like to send to your team you can add those details map those details in this way okay now you must be thinking what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i have provided here manually these details will remain same but whatever the details i have mapped here from the above data these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay so this is how this automation is going to take place and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation now i I am going to directly click on this button and then I am really expecting that the data should be arrived into my uh, technical updates basically into this specific discord channel okay coming back clicking on this button save and send test request fingers crossed waiting for the response to be received well the response is already received let me go back to my discord channel and here you can notice the same message has been arrived and the details are here okay so hello team members a new issue has been created in Jira software details are as follows issue name is this issue description is this the date and time of the issue and the project name okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that this automation is working absolutely fine so now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to create any new issue into the jira software application the same issue along with all details will be sent to your team automatically on discord okay and just in case if you are not able to
to read this date and time into the better format you can do one more thing you can convert this date and time into a simpler format okay now it is completely up to you whether you would like to go with the same date or you would like to convert it just in case if you are interested in converting it let me show you how you can do that you just need to add one more step before your last step and search for the date and time format a feature and after that you'll have to click on this connect button and this is how after selecting the action event it will be connected immediately now you just need to provide the date okay so let me search let me map this date and now finally provide the from format and the to format well from format is going to be the same and to format can be of my, my choice i'm sorry for that okay so i would like to fetch this date and time in the simpler format okay so i have selected the same in this from it should be asia slash kolkata okay so let me again search for the same that is asia kolkata and in the two time zone also i will select the same because i would like to fetch the timing into the local timing only okay clicking on this button and i'm really expecting the date and time to be arrived here and here you can notice we have received the date let us check whether we have received the correct timing or not and yes we have the correct timing and now you can map this in new and the converted date and time in place of this and directly click on this button once again okay so this is how you can automate this process very easily and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pably connect account i will also attach the link of my automation into the description box you just need to click on this link and sign up into the pably connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pably connect account that too for free Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate to make their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video